Well, the planet Mars has changed its sign yesterday, the 5th of February 2024. It has moved into the Capricorn sign, its exalted sign. And at this point in time, you need to hang in there. You need to pursue your goals and dreams at this point in time more diligently than before. You cannot give up at this point in time. You need to keep going at this point in time in spite of those difficult moments you are facing in your life. You need to snatch victory from the jaws of defeat at this juncture. This exalted Mars, Mars in Capricorn, will give you the ability, the power, the strength, the determination, the will to overcome any difficulty at this juncture. You know, just because you are experiencing a breaking point, that doesn't mean that you will give up on that idea, that plan which you are working on, on that business, on that job, on that relationship. You can't give up on these things at this juncture just because you are experiencing a breaking point. By a breaking point, I mean a stage where you lose control over yourself or you lose control over a situation. Well, we all imagine things and when you imagine how things are gonna go in your life and it doesn't go the way you imagined, and if you are a weak person, then you are gonna quit. If things don't go according to your plan and if you are a weak person, then you are gonna quit. The reason why you'll quit is because that you are not believing in your idea. You don't have 100% conviction on your idea. But when you believe in your idea and plan, then you get encased in that idea. Then you get infused in that idea and that makes all kinds of things happen. All kinds of miracles happen. And then you don't quit. You are gonna see it when you believe it, not the other way around. That is to say, you'll believe it when you see it. The thing which works in your life, you'll see it when you believe it. Well, if you don't learn how to master the breaking point in your life, then you may have many ventures in your life, businesses in your life, relationships in your life, but you will never accrue massive success unless you master the breaking point, unless you learn how to regain lost ground. Because if you don't master the breaking point, and every time life turns you to a breaking point, you will give up and quit. You will back away and run. You are gonna say this is too hard, this is too stressful, this is too emotional, this is too difficult. And when you have this kind of an attitude towards your breaking point, you cannot become a champion. So at this point in time, you might think that you have lost control over yourself. You have lost control over a situation. But you need to keep going at this point in time. You need to continue doing what you are doing at this point in time. You know, life is like a roller coaster. Sometimes you are up, sometimes you are down. But during those down moments, that is where you learn from life. That is where your character building takes place. So at this juncture, you need to keep doing the things which you are supposed to do. You know, you may not feel like doing the things which you need to do at this point in time. You may not feel like doing the things which are necessary for your life. You may not feel like continuing that business, that job, that relationship. You may not feel like doing that workout in that gym. You may not feel like doing that walk, that exercise that is good for your health. But our feelings are never in sync with the good which is supposed to happen in our life. Whether or not you feel like doing a certain thing which is good for your life, you must do it anyhow. You must be disciplined at this juncture. Well, life is not a smooth journey. There will be hurdles, barriers and obstacles in your life. Everyone faces hurdles, barriers and obstacles in their life. Who doesn't? Everyone in this life gets hurt. 
experiences pain and at some point in time falls down but when you fall to the ground at this point in time when mars is in the capricorn sign you need to remind yourself that you need to get back up you need to get back up once again if you fall down nine times you need to get back up 10 times that should be your attitude at this point in time you know you must have seen a footballer on a field and if he falls down on the ground if the opposition players commits a foul against that player and that player falls down and if he isn't seriously injured he gets back up after a few moments he still plays that game of football and tries to score a goal for his team or helps his team to score a goal that footballer doesn't keep lying on that ground because he is so engrossed with that game because he is so enthusiastic to win that game for his team that he gets back up once again similarly in your life when you fall down you need to get back up enthusiastically thinking that you need to win in your life you need to see victory in your life because you were born to win in this life god made you in such a way that your victory is a given you were born to win in this life if our father our daddy if our god has won every time i mean even when god lost on this planet earth there was a victory for god then we being his children are going to win as well but never think that you are never going to experience pain in your life and don't stop if you experience one you know even our gods have experienced a lot of pain because they know that without pain there is no gain if you embrace pain if you embrace suffering in your life then everything in your life will fall in place because through your pains and sufferings god processes your success because after a night there is day after a storm there is calm you know our pain teaches us something in our life the pains and sufferings we experience in our life comes for a reason they don't come to destroy us but to clear our path towards our destination you need to tell yourself however hard it is or however hard it gets i'm gonna make it well if it's easy do it easy if it's hard do it hard but get it done during this time you need to hang in there persevere at this point in time you know perseverance is the hard work which you do after you have done the hard work which you already did i repeat perseverance is the hard work which you do after you have done the hard work which you already did for example if you are working during the day and you come home in the evening and start working once again to improve yourself to improve your skills to earn more money then that is called perseverance you need to continue doing what you are doing at this point in time in spite of those barriers hurdles and obstacles you know worrying is not going to solve your problem action will so you need to act at this juncture you need to keep moving forward towards your goals and dreams by standing at the foot of the mountain don't try and imagine that the climb would be a steep one it would be a difficult one once you start climbing that mountain things will get clearer for you you'll figure it out along the way you'll find a way how to climb that mountain once you start climbing that mountain but by standing at the foot of the mountain thinking imagining assuming worrying how do you climb the mountain is not something you should do at this point in time and not climbing that mountain will not do any good to you you will never be able to reach the top of the mountain if you don't start climbing but once you start climbing you will figure it out along the way how to climb that mountain 
Don't overthink at this point in time. Don't think how you will climb that mountain. You need to start climbing that mountain and then everything else will be taken care by the universe, by God. Well, if you do what you can, God will do what you can't. You know, some people in this world never take that first step. They are afraid to take that first step. They start thinking, what if I fail? What if I look stupid? What if it doesn't work out? What if I fail? And then people start criticizing me. They start thinking about this what if every time. They get entangled in this what if loop. And hence entangling themselves in this what if loop, they don't take the first step. They don't understand that a journey of a thousand miles begins with one step and by taking one step after the other, you are gonna see victory in your life. You are gonna see that win in your life. Instead, at this point in time when Mars is in the Capricorn sign, you must say to yourself, what if this all works out? What if I become a winner? What if I become successful? What if this decision turns to be the best decision I have taken in my life? The other thing is that you need to take care of your finances at this point in time. You need to be very prudent in spending your money at this point in time. Don't give a loan to anyone at this point in time. Especially your near or dear ones, your friends. Because you could lose a substantial amount of money at this point in time if you lend money to someone. In other words, you may not get the money which you lend at this juncture. You must have the courage to say no to people at this point in time. If you are busy with your work, if you are busy with your goals and dreams and if someone invites you to a party, if someone invites you to a movie, if someone invites you to a restaurant and if you feel that you mustn't go with them because your work will get hampered, your goals and dreams are gonna get hampered because of that social gathering, then you must learn to say no to them at this juncture. Stick to your values, virtues and principles of your life at this juncture. You know, some people might not like you progressing in your life and hence they try to distract you from your goals and dreams. But don't get distracted at this point in time. Don't listen to the naysayers at this point in time. Don't listen to those negative people at this point in time. Don't indulge yourself with energy drainers, emotional vampires in your life at this point in time. You don't need to listen to others at this point in time about what you can or cannot do in your life. No one has the right to speak into your life at this point in time. By life, I mean your goals, your dreams, your visions, your purpose of your life, the calling of your life. Nobody has the right to weigh in on, on your goals and dreams at this juncture. You know, your goals and dreams are yours and no one in this world can tell you whether you should be following your goals and dreams or not. The others are nobody to tell you what you should or you shouldn't do in your life at this juncture. By life, I mean your goals, your dreams, your visions, your purpose of your life, the calling of your life. Well, this is all I wanted to tell you all about Mars in the Capricorn sign. If you want some specific predictions about yourself, then you are most welcome to contact me. Well, like I always say that if you wish to know your future through astrology and you are determined to live the best possible version of yourself, well, one must always try to live his or her best version of themselves because there is only one life to live. There are no duplicates of a life. You will never get a chance to live this particular human life 
once again. And if you want to enhance your luck in your life, if you want to boost your luck in your life, if you want to increase and improve your luck in your life, then I want to tell you all, I have several remedies for you. You know, these remedies which I'm talking about are a fusion of astrological remedies, vastu remedies and spiritual remedies, which can be utilized by any person of any religion. And if you want me to pray for you, because prayer can move, mountains so if you want me to pray for your health wealth success money business career job relationships love relationships marriage married life children property education etc 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 then also you may contact me you may also contact me for a vastu instrument this vastu instrument can solve all your vastu problems of your home office or factory and if you are hell-bent on taking your life from the ridiculous to the sublime, from the low point to the high point, from nothing to something, then you may contact me over WhatsApp. My WhatsApp number has been given on this video. Have a great day and a great life ahead. God bless you all. Jai Matadi. Jai Maa Kali.